Hi Charles, we're out here in front of uh, Carolyn. So we're right here in front. Uh, it is a corner lot. Uh, you have an undeveloped lot next to you. If we spin around, everything on the other side of the street has not been built. And there's still a lot of uh, vacant lots even on the other side of the street. So uh, there's still a lot to be said for you're really not going to sure what type of neighborhood you have or how soon they're going to be built or if they're going to be two stories or one stories. There is somewhat of a view from the street, but you're really not even going to know what that's going to look like depending on where the two stories fall, you know, once they start building again in here. So um, the house does show nice, uh, very gently used, and uh, it's staged well, it shows well. As you come in, you've got uh, all tile again through the walkways. Uh, this is more of a straight lay tile, it's not diagonal, and it's more 12 inch. So it's not, you know, the big 16 or 20 inch tiles, and it is straight laid. So uh, they've just got the uh, globe right there. Um, they just have those shutters. They don't have, you know, window blinds or anything per se on the windows. As uh, that was the formal area right to your right as you come in. Uh, then again, on right here on your left, you do have the uh, laundry room, so you got your washer and dryer hookups right there. And then uh, right here, uh, right in here was the garage. So uh, we do have a roll-up garage door opener. You got a couple cabinets in here. Uh, pretty standard, just small two-car. No, no real, nothing too much. Uh, you got a double door pantry right here. Not really walk in or anything, just pretty much, you know, walk in. Um, here's the kitchen. It's cherry wood. It's black appliances. Uh, they seem more like 36 inch upper, so at least these cabinets are taller than the uh, other one we looked at. Uh, it does feel kind of bare bones. I mean, this is just for mica on the counters, you know, with the uh, raised sink. And uh, even the range, you've actually got the uh, coils which you never really see anymore. Normally you'd be smooth top and you'd be gas. But you know, to see a coil range for a 2010, it really feels like they didn't do a whole lot of uh, upgrading here. So at least you got tile through the uh, walkways and they did do the small transition pieces, you know, going into the rooms there on the tile. So uh, single sink again in the uh, guest bathroom. Uh, down at the end of this hall, you have two bedrooms both with ceiling fans, uh, bedroom one, and then here's bedroom two. Uh, they're not the uh, mirrored closets, they're the uh, panel doors. Again, panel doors, lever handles. So it is a split floor plan, so this is the two guest bedrooms. And uh, as you come in, you'd have an eating area here leading into the family room, and they have these big built-in niches here. Then you have a small little uh, hallway here that would go into the master. And again, you have the same little transition piece going in. So the master uh, ceiling fan, again, you know, pretty squared off. The master, you just have uh, one sink here, which is very odd for a master, especially having this much counter space. So like we said, it just feels like they took, you know, some of the options and went, you know, for the uh, lower end. You got a decent sized walk-in closet on this side and then a closet here next to just a shower. So a builder option would have been a separate tub and separate shower. So again, like we said, this was just a, uh, a cheaper option. And then the uh, commode, the toilet area is just right there, again, with the transition piece. So uh, the house feels very well staged, very lightly used. Um, go ahead, if we get all the way out here, this would be your family room. If we spin around, you kind of get an idea of you know how it would flow. There's the kitchen. Okay, and here comes the cat. And we're gonna try to get out back without letting the cat out. Okay. Get up back. Uh, the backyard's not very deep, and there's a house right behind you with the roof going on. So that's really pretty close to you as far as uh, where the roof line is. Uh, this is just all sand right here, so I don't know if they were going to pay for this in eventually or if this was going to be dirt at some point. But they've got the coping in, they've got a little bit of rock around it. 
This is the backyard where maybe there were some mountain views, but like we said, none of these houses are built up around here yet. So you really don't know how the view is gonna you know, stand by the time the houses get built. That is a pretty small patio cover by most people's standards. So this is the patio that's gonna keep you out of the heat for your entertaining and you've just barely got room for two chairs there and trying to get out that door. So there is somewhat of a side area. You know, a couple little fruit trees that you know should come up in a couple years but this is the one in Santan Valley and we'll get it sent out to you thank you